Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mass Effect. So, we're on this little tiny moon, searching for the Geth Outpost. Let's find it! Although before we do that, of course, let's go and find all those minerals that of course we will have to uh, survey. Because 100% there will be some here. Also, I believe... At the end of this little mission with the Geth Outpost, we will be able to get Tali's uh, personal quest. So that's always good. Get those out of the way. Only Garrus, Rex, and Tali actually have personal quests. So you can only do them. Um, but it's all right. Let's see. Is there is there really not going to be anything on this moon? Am I just going up here for no reason? It's gonna suck if there's nothing to survey. Also, how big is this moon? Jeez. I feel like the maps usually aren't this big. Or at least they seem a lot smaller. Okay, so we've reached that top end. We've reached that. Okay. Really? Nothing. Well, I drove up here for no reason. Okay. Let's go around here, and then we'll hit this exclamation point then hit the debris and then the anomaly. I'm guessing the Geth Outpost is the actual exclamation point. So we're probably going to end up hitting that first. But that's not a bad thing. I'll just get it out of the way. None of these outposts or anything like that actually make you leave the planet anyway. Ooh. Well, okay, we're just flipping. Alright, cool. Turned into a bouncy ball there for a second, but that's okay. The Mako can handle it. Not all that the Mako can't handle. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's our first mineral. I knew there would be some. Come on. Make it up the mountain. There we go. It's just like using the horse in Oblivion. All over again. No opposition on this, like, heavily fortified Geth moon either. Which is weird. But, you know what? I'll take it. All right. Also, I ended up looking it up, and there are some planets with three deposits of minerals, but most of them only have two. So, I think I'm doing okay on that front. I just managed to come across, like, two in a row that had three deposits on it. So, if we stick to that rule, we're two minimum. We should be able to find all the deposits. That being said, I still think I've missed some. So we're going to have to go back and get some. There are more than you need for the actual mission. But not by many. Alright. There's another one over here. and I'm guessing that's the two on this moon. I mean, I could be wrong, but... I'm guessing there's only two here. You'd think a moon wouldn't have as much. Well, then again, I guess we have observed moons with a ton of stuff on them in real life. So, fairly accurate, I guess. Uranium. Let's make some bombs. Actually, let's not. There we go. Ooh. Got 4,000 from that. Okay. Let's head over to that. The Geth Outpost now. You can already see a light over there. Oh, God. The Mako, please. The Mako ha definitely has all-wheel drive. And a suspension that rivals that of the Warthog. Alright. I'm guessing there are turrets. Yeah, there they are. Oh. There are armatures as well. Thankfully, I don't think they're the Colossus ones. Whoa, I got hit a little there. Are they Colossus? Oh my god, they might be Colossi. There's two of them? Shit.
Alright, let's see what we can take out from a different vantage point. They are Colossus. Well, maybe I want to get the, uh... Massive XP boost from killing them, actually. Well, we already got a level up. So if we just head over here... Probably just fight the one. There we go. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh. Okay, well, we accidentally destroyed one. What? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, that's what I wanted to do anyway. Oh shit, there's a hazard out here. I don't suppose I can actually reach that. There we go. What? Maybe not. Come on. You can die. Well, I can't lift that thing. <laughs> ah, God damn it. We need to get back in the Mako. Oh, okay. There we go. And the hazard level goes down. Let's go fight some Geth. And I believe all of us still have the... Uh, Tungsten rounds, good against synthetics. So we should be all good. Oh, it's jammed. Mm. Nah, I'm not going to equip a combat sensor right now. There's no real reason to, to be honest. Oh. Hey, buddy. Well, the stalkers are weird, but not really dangerous. Especially because it's not really seeming to come out of the door. Can I just overload you? Or sabotage? There we go. Wow, are you guys annoying or what? I think I should put on barrier. Just to protect myself a little bit. Oh, one of them's dead. Oh. Can't even reach anybody from here. Maybe we should get in there and take cover. Might not be a bad idea. But then they're gonna swarm us. Ooh! Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Alright, you can have that. Uh, at least my AI is fighting them now. Okay, there's one down. Ooh. I think that's it. Everybody alive? Everybody's alive. Good. What's in here? Upgrade kit. Oh, shit. I didn't do any... Uh, inventory management... Well, <laughs> this is going to get interesting real quick. I know, I know. 145 now. Uh-oh. There we go. Encrypted geth files. Of course we're going to download that. And it mentions Quarian stuff. If you can't guess by this point, like... Tally can get involved. It keeps pushing you to like go see her. So we'll go do that. Actually, we'll we'll uh, go have a talk with our 
shipmates in a second. We actually haven't done that in a while, so it wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, the upstairs is locked. Okay. Anything up here? Probably not. Okay. Well, now we just begin the long walk back. Um, I should have enough inventory space to pick up that deposit. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Oh, damn it. I'm not going to have enough inventory space, am I? Well, we'll find out in a second. Anyway, Geth Outpost down. Taken care of. Let's head over to that debris. We'll see if we can pick up all the stuff from it. We should be able to, but... Just in case, I, I can always put some stuff down to Omni Gel. And I'm sure the game is waiting to give me inventory as soon as I get into the menu or something like that, but we'll hold off on that, obviously. Right? I'm guessing. Yeah. Equipment's lit up, so it's waiting to give me inventory there. But, fun little fact, if you just don't activate that, you're absolutely fine. Alright. Man, that Mako's cool. I want a car that can just drive over literally everything. That'd be pretty badass. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Is this on top of the mountain? God damn it. I was going around it. Trying to make it easier on myself. Nope. Alright. Where is it? Up here? No. Hold on, where is this? Oh, it's down there. It's not on the mountain. Okay. Well, it's probably not going to be amazing stuff, but... Stuff that we can sell, hopefully. And if I'm real lucky, we'll get that million credits in this playthrough and I'll be able to buy Spectre stuff. Woo! Close. But we're good. And then an anomaly of some sort. Maybe Asari Writings? Or something like that? Or maybe it's another Mummified Sol Solarian or something like that? Who knows? Well, we will in a second, I guess. Whoa. Okay. All right. Ah, there we go. So what's this anomaly? Actually, this might be a Thresher Maw area, now that I'm looking at it. Oh, this could be bad. The anomaly is in this rock. What the what? Oh, it's one of the uh, capsules. We haven't found one of those in a while. There we go. Matriarch writings. Cool. And I think that is everything done. And back here, let the uh, council know. Or I guess not the council, the uh, humans. Are they going to contact us? Message from there we go. Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. Well, that's not good. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Alrighty then. Because we're badass. That's what we do. But, all that being said, let's back out of here real quick. We're actually done in the Armstrong Nebula. We're going to be going to the Kepler Verge next, which I believe has Garrus's quest inside of it, if I'm remembering right. But first, let's go talk to our teammates because we haven't done that in a while. Get some dialogue going in this episode. 
Uh, so let's go talk to Liara first, because I believe the romance options are going to start being unlocked. I could be wrong, but let's find out. Anything to say? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Oh, really? Hmm. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? Okay, never mind. Goodbye. Nothing there. <laughs> I guess maybe we have to get through another, like... I guess we have to get through another dialogue thing. Not sure. Uh, does Caden have anything? Nope, Caden doesn't have anything either. I don't think we've reached a flag to make them talk about anything yet, which is fine. Um, that just means that we'll have to keep going on. I do want to, real quick, do some inventory management, even though it's, like, in the middle of the episode, so... <laughs> we can do that. I don't think anybody else here will have anything to do, but let's go talk to Tali because her quest does involve the uh, Geth information that we just got. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. What's up? Something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. Okay. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our home world. By killing them all. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years, but it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Okay. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. Cool. Sounds good. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. And we get a Paragon point from it. Now, oh, let's see if we can level up at all. <sighs> Still nothing for charm. We have six points. I think the game is giving us more points to upgrade with. Um, hmm, at this point, I guess let's go for, like, stasis, right? Can make the target immobile and stuff like that. Still gonna leave those two points just in case we get enough paragon to upgrade in them. It never hurts to have, but I believe we're gonna have to wait for a while to get that. Rick's got anything new? Oh yeah, oh, come here. I'm a fire. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? You know, be a leader. I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. Damn. I'm no hero, Shepard. You could be, though. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. Well, he got burned once. A lot of Krogan works out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. Okay, then. That wasn't even Codex stuff? Okay, sure, I guess. Why not? Commander, I... What can I do for you? Oh, you've got stuff. Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find... Oh, we're going to he's find Saren. step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. Oh, he's not gonna get away with it. I know it. you're doing everything you can. And if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Okay, then. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. 
Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Go ahead. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Would they do that? I have a feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Mm, maybe. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. Now, what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. Uh, probably, but, you know, we can we know do something about, about that. Plans than anyone, but what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Yeah, definitely, especially if he's working with the Matriarch. Chance I'm willing to take. Yes, man. There we go, there's some codex. Not a lot, but I'll take it. Hi, Ashley. Give a few minutes to talk. Do you have anything else? I should get back to yeah, okay. Later, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do this all off-screen, so... You'll see a cut, but I'm going to do some inventory management, get rid of a bunch of stuff we don't need. Probably sell most of it, to be perfectly honest, because we want to get those Spectre stuff. So, be right back. Alright, we're all back and ready to go. Did a ton of inventory management. We're halfway to Spectre weapons. We've got 500,000 credits. You need, need a million. Almost there. Alright, so we're done here in the Armstrong Nebula. Onto the Kepler Verge, and then we're going to Hawk and Ada last. I believe the DLC stuff is in Hawk and Ada, too, so that'll be fun. Uh, apparently, we only have two things found here, but that's fine. So, we may find Garrus's uh, quest somewhere around here. I believe it's in the Kepler Verge, anyway. Message coming in. Well, Patching it through. something new. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Uh-oh. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? We found a connection between the scientists and you. Uh-oh. They all worked on a classified project several years ago on a coos. Oh, hey. It's our, uh... It's our backstory quest. This can't have anything to do with what happened to me on a coos. Those Thresher Maws killed dozens of soldiers. If this was more than just an accident, we need to know. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. And the intrigue deepens. So yeah, we may run into Dr. Wayne somewhere. That'll be interesting. Icy planet, okay. Basically a Pluto, but with rings. Clen Corey is a survey. Ah, more matriarch writings. I think we're like getting close to getting all the matriarch writings. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be the land. Another green planet. Is it actually like grass and stuff? Makes me wonder. Another survey, hydrogen. Okay. Well, I guess uh, let's just go ahead and land, right? See what's down here. And, of course, we're taking Rex and Garrus. They're the ones I have equipped the most. We are going to switch those up when we go to certain places, because, like, obviously we would want to take Liara when we go and visit her mother, and uh, I believe we want to take Tali for something else. So we are going to switch it up a little bit. We're basically just never going to use Caden or Ashley, though, because they're useless, and I don't like them. Um, there's an anomaly, debris, and an underground facility. All right, well... I think, first things first, let's just go ahead and start exploring. Man, the green planets weird me out. Because it's green everywhere, including on, like, mountains. Makes me think it's not grass, but it's clearly the grass texture. Like, that's not how it works. That's just lazy texturing, I feel like. Just slapped something on, and it's like, we need to make this place look green. 
Why? Well, because we want a green planet. No, no rover isn't for it. Ooh, wait. Oh, I'm heading towards that. Well, if I'm so close to it, let's grab it anyway. What's over here? Probably a crashed ship or something. What in the what are those? What the what is hostile that? Contact. Is that hostile? I don't seem hostile. Contacts, Commander. Okay. The heck? <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. Turian insignia. Alright. I don't know what these things are, but they don't seem hostile. But you can shoot them, apparently, and they explode. Well, they're all dead now. Oh, wait. One alive. Can't leave in. God damn it. There we go. I'm a horrible person. I've left them all dead. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, well, moving on. Oh, wait, there's one more. Ah, I can live to tell the tale. Once they grow up and become sentient, we'll all face their wrath. But that's for a different day. Alright, let's see what's up over the mountains. Why did they yell out hostiles? Did they, like, appear hostile at first? Or maybe the AI was just bugging out? Who knows? Wow, this is a big ridge line. Anything down there? No, and we're basically reaching the corner. Okay. I'm not going to keep going that way. Let's just head downward towards the debris. And then, uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. We may run into the scientist on this planet, for all I know. Or maybe Garrus's quest. I'm not entirely sure. You can do their quests without them with you. But, uh, not generally recommended oops well we're down in the valley now all right let's see what's down here Oh, right, the debris. Of course there's debris. We still haven't found any minerals, though. That's... Uh, annoying. Oh, well, let's at least pick up these. You know, I'm sure I could get to, like, 600,000 if I sold all of the upgrades that I have, but I don't know. I feel like upgrades I should keep. What the what? Something's over there. Whoa! This one's involved. A bleed of coding, cryo rounds. There are enemies over here. What is it, Geth? No, oh, people. Wow, I just murdered all of them. To be fair, they shot first, so. You know. Not a murderer. Just self-defense. Oh, well, they're they're all like dead, dead. Woohoo! Oh, and there's a mineral over there. Oh, well, we'll get that in a minute. Stop it, you! Listen, I told you to stop. Now you're gonna get run over. Does that feel good? Does it feel good to get run over? Probably not. Oh my god, you can't actually kill them with the Mako in that way. It's so annoying. Go, go, go! 
All right, fine. We'll kill them the normal way. There we go. What's in here? All right, let's find out what's in here. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, set up like a Cerberus stronghold. Well, there is a dead person. That's always a good sign. Malfunctioning object. I'll take it all. No decryption yet. That's a little weird. Anything in here? Probably going to be a bunch of assholes who want to die. Ooh, actually, real quick. Before we get too far in there, is that better light armor for me? Oh my god, that armor. Uh. Hell yeah. Bam. Um, before we do that, I want to switch everybody from tungsten rounds. There's probably going to be organics in here. At least to something that's a little bit more useful. Maybe cryo rounds? Hmm. Yeah, let's give him a incendiary. That'll be fun. Okay. Now that I've done all that, let's just save. Also, that armor. Another dead person. Oh, there's a ton of bad guys in here. Take cover. Watch out. Go, go, go. Lots of mercs. Go, 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 go. Whoa. Lots of mercs. Is that a Krogan merc? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's oh, just shoot him while he's on the ground. And then explode them. And then explode them again. Oh, I got a level up. Gareth, stop being hurt so much. Ah, you got like health regen stuff. That's annoying. Need to stop moving. Lift. <clears throat> Stasis is not as useful as I thought it was. Push. Because they also can't really get hurt. I guess that's a good way to, like, stop enemies from hurting you for a little while, but... Not super useful. Hey. You. Stop that. What's with this work? There we go. All good? All good. Okay. I will take this locked crate. Thank you. I wonder if I'll unlock... Can I unlock medium armor on my shepherd? I don't know if I can. Motivated buyer. Ooh, actually, that might be really useful, because I get more credits. Um, can I get... I can't. Alright, that's fine. I didn't think I could, but just in case. Never a bad thing to look up. Is 
There we go. Get the extra credits, why not? I should have equipped that before I sold a whole bunch of stuff. But it's fine. It's fine. Let's just, we'll just live without it. Medical kit. Oh, is there more people in here? Usually they don't... Well, I guess they do give you medical kits plenty at the end of fight rooms. Oh. There we go. Any other goodies? Just an explosive place? Oh, okay. Moving on. Maybe there will be more people to kill. Oh man, there's more dead scientists, I guess? Lots of mercenaries. Lots and lots of mercenaries. We can't go through that door. We can only go through this door. Let's find out what's on the other side. Uh oh. I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Uh -oh. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't um. Shepard? My god. Shepard, is that you? But you're dead? But you were on a coast. I, I saw the Thresher mob pull you under. They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. Oh, that's not good. Woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Yeah, that's bad. Tombs, I didn't see anybody. If I'd seen you, I would have come back for you, I swear. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Shepard was at Akuz. That's all the proof she needs. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? Oh, thank God I have enough charm. Better than this, Tombs. <clears throat> You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Hmm. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coos, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. Okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Oh yeah, he's going to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Oh god. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay, then. Wait, exit the bunker. Wait, was there stuff in there? Ooh, I got Paragon. <gasps> Tell me I can do it. God damn, what do we need to get those last few charm? How many, how many are we at? One, two, three, four, five. So this is eight. We're at ten charm. That's not the max. There's definitely, you can definitely get the twelve. I guess there wasn't anything else in the bunker. Is it worth it to go back down and check? I mean, yeah, why not? It'll only take a second. There's probably not anything in there. But on the off chance that it put goodies in that room, I'm going to check. I mean, you don't populate a room just because. It was looking at me funny. All right, let's see. And then if there's nothing here, we'll just leave. And we may even have enough time to go to the other planet in this sector, finish out the Kepler Verge completely. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that was useless. There's. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? There's just an interactive monitor, and that's it. What a weird little thing to put in there. Okay, that's all fine. Whatever. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Just turn on and off monitor. Why not? I guess... Yeah, why not? I wonder if they originally had more planned for that. And they uh, cut it down. Feels like a lot of quests are like that. Where they had an idea, couldn't really fit it all in. And then just had to settle. Who knows? Only the people who made the game, I suppose. Alright, so we're done with the facility. We're done with pretty much everything here. So let's go get this. And try and find the other mineral, because there's always two per planet. And we'll be done with this rock. And then we'll head to the other part of the Kepler Verge. And hopefully, that is Garrus's quest, if I remember correctly. I mean, I guess I could just look in my uh, journal. See where it is. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Garrus. Did he... Where does it say he is? Kepler Verge. Okay. Herschel system. Yeah. That's what I thought. We've got time for that. I may have this run a little longer just to get that in there. Whoa. Uh-oh. Come on. There's got to be one more mineral somewhere. And then in the next episode, we're just going to head to Hawking Ada and probably do the DLC. Now, once we're done with all of that, um, I believe we're just going to go and do one of the mission worlds. We're going to head in and I think let's visit the matriarch first. We'll go to Novaria. Um, and then after we're done with Novarium, we'll go back to the Citadel. Because you always want to go back to the Citadel after you complete uh, one of the main uh, planets. And then we'll, of course, go to Pharos after that. I knew it. I knew there would be one. You can't escape me. I'm going to survey every mineral. Wait, are there more of those things? No, nope, these are different. What is that? What the? It ran into me and died. Good. What in the heck is that? Yeah. They're like, wait, what? You can talk to them? What? What is this? Lead the way. I, they're like, Deer head hooves and they got arms and they have talk things, but you can't actually talk to them. Okay, that's definitely something that they originally wanted and then just didn't get made or something. What a weird thing. What do they even eat? There's nothing on this planet. It's just rock. I mean, I guess they eat grass. Alright, well that was weird, I guess. Okay, back to Normandy. <laughs> I have I have nothing to say. I, I got nothing. Oh. Patch it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Hell yeah. The tomb seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, you'll have a normal life again someday. I very much doubt that. All right. Well, at least we helped. Is there anything on here about... Yeah, there's nothing on here about, like, the weird deer things, but... Oh, well. Let's go to Herschel. And we may just find Garrus's, uh, doctor. We have to stop Garrus from killing him outright, too. Yeah, it's going to be right there on the MSV Fedo. So we'll go there last. 
I'm guessing one of these planets will also be a land. Ooh. What? Wait. You can survey the... Asteroid belts? I... I never knew that. We may have to go back and do that. Oh, no, wait. This is going to be a land, isn't it? No? Huh. There's, like, not much of anything here, actually. Not even any surveys. Just that asteroid belt. Okay. Well. Let's go on to this, uh... Dr. Hart's ship. Go talk to him, shall we? Well. There's definitely angry people on board. Or at least they're red. What do we got? Probably mercs. Over there. Test subjects. Oh, no. They're like... Husks, but not really. Yeah. Oh, God. Zambos! I guess there's no real reason to, like, use my abilities on these guys. They don't really do much of anything. They just sort of explode. Man, but they make weird noises. Ooh. Okay, well that wasn't gross at all. Just sort of blew them all up, I guess. Let's see if there's any goodies around here, and if not, let's just go talk to the good doctor, because he has some splaining to do. Yeah. Oh, wait. Side door. Thank oh. You. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Um. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy. Please, don't let him do this to me. Hmm. Well, we're not going to kill him. Take him in. Drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Damn right you do. Thank you so very much. Get him excited. Oh, okay. He just ends up trying to fight us anyway. We're just gonna kill him. And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. That. In the end, that's what really matters. Yes. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Alright. Killed the doctor, but... All the goodies are now mine. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, come on! <sighs> I hate the fucking... It's way too wide. The, like, hitbox on the orange boxes. There we go. Take that. Oh, come on. Take that. Plenty of stuff for us. Wetware kit. Ooh, yeah. It's definitely been killing people. Lots of goodies in here. Fantastic. Well, at least we're going to get a ton of money from this. And this is just the cockpit. Okay. 
Well, I'll take the money. That's good enough for me. And yeah, there's no way to not kill the doctor in that mission. Just so you know, it, he will always run away or like try to attack. Even if Garrus isn't with you, he will still uh, resist capture or anything like that. So, yeah. We did that in the best possible way we could. And the more you influence uh, Garrus, the more he changes in the other Mass Effect games. So, by doing all these Paragon things with him, he will turn into a more Paragon-like uh, character in the next games. So, if we ever end up playing Mass Effect 2 on this channel, he would be a very different person. For better or worse, you know. I'm not going to judge or anything there. All right, so. I think that's where we're going to leave it off in this episode because I've done a lot. And now I have to go back. Oh, I feel so weird. Like, are there other asteroid belts that I've missed? I don't know. Anyway, Hawking Ada. There's only the one place here. Oh, you know what? Depending on what's actually in here. We might be able to actually do this in the one episode. And then we can just continue on with the story mission next time. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Oh, man. Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hawking Etta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. Oh, okay. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance. And we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. Or maybe he's not. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. Huh. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched on to a group he identifies with. Many well, that could be bad. Feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. I wonder what Caden would think. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. Almost certain. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Alliance soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. Uh-huh. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. Well, we'll see. I might be able to end this without violence. You serve with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. All right. We're definitely going to take a look at that. So let's save that for... Next time. Is there actually something in every asteroid belt? I'm just going to check this real quick. Oh my god, there is! Alright, well, we're, we're definitely going to go back and check those out. Which planet did he say it was on? Is it this one? No? Huh. Well, we can land on the moon... I'm guessing the moon... This is all DLC stuff here. In Hawking Ada. I'm guessing the moon is the place where we need to land? Possibly? But... Before we 100% look at that... Metallic asteroid. Wow. Okay. That means I definitely need to go back and check all the... Rings everywhere. Alright. Oh! League of One medallion. All right, we're just going to land, and we'll take it from there in the next episode. And let's take Rex and Garrus. My go-to. I could take Caden and see if he has anything to say about this, but 
Honestly, I don't care that much. <laughs> it might be cold a little bit, but like, nah. Just don't care. Anyways. What's here? Anomaly debris and the biotic compound. We're going to check all that out next time. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye